Kim's BFF blames her for seducing her husband and other men on her wedding. This is what Kim Kardashian wore to Stephanie Shepard's wedding. Stephanie, a former assistant to Kim, tied the knot with Larry Jackson. Despite rumors of a feud between Kim and Stephanie, the fans are wondering why Kim would wear this dress to a friend's wedding. Recently single, Kim Kardashian is actively seeking for a new partner. She's been putting herself in a spotlight, notably at social events aiming to attract men's attention. One controversial instance involved Kim, the Kim's founder reportedly trying to allure her best friend's new husband Larry Jackson at their wedding. Kardashian must always have the attention on her, even when it's at somebody else's wedding. She needs everyone to look at her and go, oh my God, what is she wearing? Because there's no way that every single guest would not immediately look at someone who turns up naked to a wedding. Kim, a mother of four, wore a revealing dress at the wedding, seemingly to catch the groom and other men's attention. This makes me so angry because there is just no reason to aspire to this level of being a hoe. There's just no reason, and that's, that's the only way to say it. For more details about how Kim's friend reacted to her actions, watch our full video and do not forget to like and subscribe while you're at it. The mother of four was invited to attend her friend's and former assistant wedding recently. She wore a very revealing dress, which left little to the imagination. Now, uh, wearing this to a wedding just shows you that she actually, far from being secure, is the most insecure woman in America. Have some respect for your former assistant. Have some respect for a person when you attend their wedding. It was a cutout covered Alaya outfit. She gracefully arrived in an eye-popping dress that showed off almost her entire body and of course, she made people turn heads because of her attention-seeking outfit that was hard to ignore. And then her good friend Kim shows up in this dress where everything was revealed. So poor Stephanie was upstaged by not just one, but two celebrities at her own wedding. Stephanie is Kim's former assistant, but even after she left the position, they remained close friends. Reports indicate that the bride felt like the reality TV star wanted to steal her shine and on her big day, it was really uncalled for. That she's literally half naked at the wedding. She must have attention always on her body and again, it reads to me like a massive insecurity. Anyone who knows Kim Kardashian knows that she'll do anything to get public attention even if it hurts someone or it means overshadowing her friends. Many fans felt like this was a very controversial outfit to wear at a friend's wedding. Mama Jacris and a stack more. And he's still hoping our lives are filled with as much trust as Kim has in this top. A fan commented, Now, no one else is dressed like that. She just couldn't let Stephanie have her mom. What would Kim Kardashian wear to a wedding? Your first answer should always be nothing. Kim Kardashian is fond of having issues with her friends just because of how she takes advantage of them. The star is obsessed with fame. She does anything to get relevance at the expense of her friendships and relationships. Kim recently had a feud with her ex-friend Larsa Pippen. To refresh your memory, Larsa was accused of having inappropriate conversations with Kanye West. She's not scared about being sued by them because she feels as though she deserves to have her side told. Speculations about the reality TV star and Larsa falling out began in April 2020 when curious fans found out that the two friends had unfollowed each other. Larsa went into more details about why she and Kim are no longer friends in February 2021. She said during the Hollywood Unlocked podcast, I don't know if you call it betrayed, things happen and our relationship had gotten to a place that was just a weird, ugly place. She continued saying, I never thought it would happen. I love them. We had an issue or issues. We had a falling out but i'm not going to be petty or immature if they come for me then karma is real i don't know like i i never thought it would happen to be honest with you like i've heard things that like were said to me that were very hurtful like from other people that i was like wow i would have never thought that larissa said that she never anticipated that she would ever fall out with kim kardashian because she had tried so much to be a lawyer friend i'm good I'm, i actually have more blessings not being with them than i did with them so i'm okay
Like I look at it like that. The fact that the reality TV star didn't at any time look out for Larsa clearly shows how self-centered she is. Fans speculated that Kim Kardashian is just so mean and doesn't just care about her friends. A fan urged that, sad that Kim lives for others rather than herself. You can't live a real life if you only know facts. She has missed so much of her life, needing attention and not being able to be herself. She likes to hurt others, including friends and family. Girl, get a clue. Kim has not only been caught trying to get attention from her friends' husbands, she even seduces her sister's body. Boyfriend. Travis Baker, who is now Courtney's husband, recently opened up that Kim was trying to seduce him but he didn't fall for it. It is the way the mother of four always made sure that she dressed in a way that would get everyone's attention and make them get attracted to her. However, Travis confirmed that he had a crush on the reality TV star but they never got into a serious relationship. He said, I had a crush on her and we were flirting, but nothing ever happened. She was so kind and polite, I just felt like a perfect gentleman around her it was a trap he's still maintaining his claim that he and kim never actually got intimate with one another which i'm not sure if i believe the reality tv star trashed the claim last year after a fan asked in on an instagram q a did you hook up with travis baker and she replied no false narrative she went ahead and said we've been friends for years and i'm so happy for him and courtney an insider revealed that kim kardashian was trying to get travis attention during his proposal party with courtney rumor has it that the mother of four was all over the drama until the push founder interrupted her the source said that courtney kardashian couldn't stand the fact that Kim was all over Travis the whole time. The insider said that the now Mrs. Baker was later seen having an argument with her sister, stating that she just hates the fact that she and Travis are happy together. Because she's so intolerable to even have a conversation with. People were quick to believe that indeed Kim was flirting with Baker because of their past encounter with the drama. Shortly after the Push founder announced her pregnancy, she and Travis made a gender reveal that they were having a boy and Kim was clearly not happy but she attended because she had to. A fan commented, flirting with Travis, seriously? Kim is sick, I swear, who does that? Just to hurt her, Kim doesn't even mind stooping that low. Another fan adds that, if the spotlight is not on Kim, she'll freak out and find a way to take it by force. Even if it's from her own sister, she doesn't care. She wants male attention 24-7. What a narcissistic, egotistical and rude person and sister. Kim has also been caught in moments when she was flirting and seducing other men just because she was so desperate to get into a relationship so that she could get public attention. Ever since the reality TV star finalized her divorce, it has been hard for her to find a man to settle with and she has now resorted to making advances on high-profile men. The reality TV star was recently caught in a moment trying to flirt with Reblon James, who is currently married to Savannah. She went artistic framing him in her customized Lakers bag with the NBA player being the center of attention. In the photo, Lebron's face had an attitude that completely showed he was not interested in being in the photo. Fans speculated that she's trying to target the NBA player since she's currently searching for a high-profile man. A fan said, he is a married man. I'm not sure why she thought it would be okay to post this. Another fan commented, that's embarrassing. You're acting like a thirsty woman. He really has that I don't play like that attitude. Kim being desperate has got her trying to flirt with Kanye West who is her ex-husband and is currently married to Bianca Sensori. In a recent clip from the next episode of the Kardashian Kim opened up about the fact that she wants her ex-husband back. She has recently tried to be on the good side of West, like when she told Time magazine that a rapper was right when he said Northwest should be off social media. Kim tried getting close to Kanye during the Saints soccer game, but the rapper made sure he kept his distance. He was at the back cheering his team while Kim was at the front. Kim hates the fact that Kanye is deeply in love with Bianca and he has on many occasions ignored her flirting. A fan emphasized saying, she got what she wanted. She wanted him to leave her alone. She wanted her last name back. And now she wants to cry because he's not looking at her anymore. She needs to move on. She called him a stalker. He wanted to work it out, but she didn't. Rumors have been speculating that Kim is trying to flirt with Asher.
during Ash's concert, Kim was openly flirting with the singer and she didn't even try to hide when the photographers came around. The speculations were fueled when Kim attended Ash's two concert at his Las Vegas residency, where the singer gave the reality TV star a streamy serenade. Then again, the several incidents of Kim flirting with Tom Brady have escalated recently. Fans speculated that the reality TV star wants to stay close to Tom Brady so that she can easily flirt with him. A fan questioned, why do I feel like she made a list of billionaires and is slowly getting through the list, seeing which one will bite? First, it is said she's hooking up with Jeff Bezos. Next, she's uploading pics of LeBron James. Now, planted stories link her to Tom Brady. We'd love to hear your thoughts on Kim's action at her friend's wedding. Do you think they were justified? Share your views in the comment section and do not forget to like and subscribe for more content.